Hello, my name is Rennie Kuppens. I'm from Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands, and I'm here to present our paper called A String-Based Representation and Crossover Operator for the Evolutionary Design of Dynamical Mechanisms. Literature shows that robots would perform better when their mechanical structure is specifically designed for its task. For instance, by adding spring mechanisms. In this example, we see three robots mechanisms that behave quite differently. It shows that spring location and other parameters are essential in getting the desired behavior, which in this case would be to draw a straight line. However, designing such mechanisms is hard and time consuming, and in this paper we try to solve this automatically with an evolutionary algorithm. In our evolutionary algorithm, we first initialize a population with randomly generated mechanisms. Next, we select parents that are lucky and good enough to reproduce. Through recombination and mutation, children are formed that will replace inferior solutions in the population. This process is repeated many times, and we are left with an optimized solution after termination conditions are met. However, one very important question remains, and that is how to recombine two different mechanisms into a new mechanism. This problem is easily understood given this image where spring mechanisms with a different number of components are shown. It isn't immediately clear how to combine them. And the solution lies in the data structure that's used, the genome. The topology of a mechanism can be written as a graph where vertices indicate masses and edges indicate connections such as hinges and springs. This graph can be written as an incidence matrix. But given that incidence matrices are generally of unequal size, one extra step is needed. Given the shown pattern, we associate an integer number with each column configuration. As such, we can write a mechanism as a string and use simple crossover methods. For example, we can now simply exchange parts of each string to get a new mechanism. We have applied our method to the synthesis of mechanisms that draw straight lines and ellipses by virtue of their kinematic and dynamic properties. Here the results are shown. So in conclusion, we've demonstrated the synthesis of dynamical spring mechanisms with an evolutionary algorithm for path generation. Future work will focus on the implementation of controllers and other types of constraints synthesis of nonlinear springs and searching for novelty instead of explicit objectives. Thank you for watching.